looks like the National Bank of Egypt beat us to this temple. Wonder if he knew the metal detector was going off. <laughs> Wonder if he knew. Still built the structure from sandstone because, of course, it's easy. It's like building with granite is not easy. So, even if you have the granite stone all around you here, they were smart. They used the sandstone. Yeah, this was probably from another. The name we find inside this structure is Nechtinebu from the 30s dynasty. So it's older than the inscriptions that leads to the Holy of Holies. We can see some of the pillars are unfinished. يعني المية اللي بتبقى مستواها كده بتبدا تطلع وتنزل ما نزلتش عن كده واخد بالك؟ عشان كده بدل اللي تحت ايه؟ اه فهمت تو اندرستاند؟ اه اوكي اوكي وي توكينج اباوت ذا ليفل ليفل اوف ذا ووتر واي وي هاف تو ديفرنت كالر هير ذيس از اندر ذا ووتر اند ذيس از ذا توب اوف ذا ووتر ذا ووتر جو اب تو ذا سيلينج اند جو داون بس اول وذ ذيس ستيل اندر ذا ووتر This is the reason why this is one with different color from the other part. Oh, okay. and this is this is believed to be the effect of the cement this that used to come uh, okay. before the yes, yes. part moved completely from the other part from the other before they built the high jump pressure. Yes, they started this project 1970 and finished 1980. Twelve years, twelve years to move the entire town. Imagine yeah. Yeah, right. Probably that's the unit of itself. Yeah. Wow. So, how did you break it? No. Nothing. How high did they bring the temple? Where was, how low was the temple before an elevation? I think the other island is the same leaf. It should be a couple of meters. Where the same one? Yeah. Yeah. Because the the other island is on the water. Yeah. That's not far from you. Okay. Do you know like how far down that island is now? Now? Yeah. You can sometimes see some part here. Ah, mm. Sometimes okay. you can see, I think two meters, three yeah. meters okay. maximum. So this temple water. would still be sticking out of the water, but you would be able to walk around it. Exactly. Yeah. The water was until here. Okay. Yeah. We have all the photos, people, and the videos. It shows people entering. With With boat. Boat. That's so cool. All right, we have these things that could resemble the pineal gland. More likely to connect into this plant right here because we can see the same symbol. That so, and then we see the vials or the beakers. So this does imply the use of some substance. Again, I wish I could make whatever this is out a little more clearly though. Huh. Good eye. <laughs> All right, so check it. We have a scene here depicting 
we got the pineal gland cuttings. And then the next one we have the beakers with the plants over there. Um, these people are our face. I don't know. I think this all this one over here means just general offerings, food, and all that. Um, this looks like a bearer of more than a god. But either or, they're offering literally ways to get in touch with their pineal gland to these bad boys over here on this side. They need some shit. Someone pointed out that resembles like a, a Mayan headdress. We haven't seen one like that out here in Egypt yet. So that's actually pretty interesting. But they moved the temple from the older island because it sunk under water to this island because it was a bit higher. So usually, for example, we will have the word Nitter before the word Mut. Hmm? So this is Isis, Isit, Werit, Mut, Nitter. Now it is put in order exactly on how we read it in hieroglyphs. In the older text, Netter used to come before Mood, but still we say Mood before Netter because we put the sign of a Netter in front of the sign Mood for to honor the name of the God or to honor the symbol of the Netter. So from text like this, it became known that this is how it's spoken, even if the symbol is put on top or like in front of the Mood symbol. Does it make sense? So who is this? Osiris, this is a netter. Yes, you can see his name. Uzir, netter, netter a. A netter, the high god. Isis, Isis, where it moved netter. Isis the great, the mother of the god which we said before that this title was taken to Mother Mary. Who is she? Hat Hu. See, Hat is the square or the rectangular with another one inside, which means the place. Hu is Horus, the one in the inside. And of course, when you say Hat Hu in English, for example, then you'll put H-A-T-H-O-U-R. That's how it was pronounced as Hat Hu. But it's Hat Hu. And look what we got here. More of the offerings. We got him holding plants. Okay, that's one thing. Then we got the little shot glasses with the substances in it. But then we got the ultimate bad man over here with his pipe, with flame coming out, with two spheres inside. Spheres usually represent enlightenment and knowledge. Then we have him with his beaker with the blue lotus growing right here. Using all this. Huh. This one's unique though, because it doesn't seem like he's offering it to God, which is one of the first I've seen where just the guy blazing fat rips by himself. Pathetic. Pass that, homie. Always. Just leave some bread, bro. Let it rot. Yeah, no, like, really? Looks like we got a recipe over here. He's handing him awareness. Connection to the divine on a bowl. But this looks like a, a recipe of some sort. Got the herb, blue lotus. We got some sort of a Hunter Biden pipe here. Little crack pipe. Interesting. Quick run. Where's it from? California. Number one. Number one. 
Egypt's number one. <laughs> Thank you. Got to say, I am a fan of South Egypt. Don't know if I've ever, been, yeah, I don't think I've been here before. I don't remember my family ever taking me out here when I was a young lad. But the water's a lot cleaner, the air is a lot cleaner than what you'd see in North Egypt. Like if if Cairo was your first place you went to in Egypt, you wouldn't believe it could get any nicer. <laughs> I mean, not that Cairo is nice because it's dirty as hell. It's not actually a nice city at all, to be honest. But out here. Uh oh. Uh oh. You don't want to curse, do you? Might be interesting. Yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> Double negative. Maybe it'll make things better. Yeah. There's a lot of foliage over here. I think I'm going to be able to. I remember right before Corona hit, they uncovered a sarcophagus in Egypt and opened it. <laughs> like, they did it. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, oh, okay, that explains it all. 